let's just be honest. Not too many women want good men. You know, something that has always grinded my gears and upset me was the amount of women out here who deliberately pass up the good guys and go after the quote unquote bad boys, you know? And what's extremely frustrating is the fact that you can see how much further ahead how much better off a lot of these women could have been had they given that good guy, quote unquote, a chance. You know, those guys end up flourishing later on in life. You see him doing very well with his business, his career. You know, he's living really, really well. And meanwhile, you have a lot of those chicks that said that he was too boring, he was too lame, he was too predictable, and all of that. And let's be honest, I've even heard women complain about a man being too nice. But nonetheless, you see all of those same women who passed those guys up in complete shambles. And then to see the guys that they chose over those men, I mean, it, it's night and day. And it forces one to believe that karma is real, all right? Because the way that karma spins the block on a lot of these chicks that try to put the quote unquote nice guy or good guy last, and now she's ending up in last place in life. Yeah, I mean, it's truly diabolical, as y'all love to say, you know, but this is what happens time and time again. And it's the same old tired song, you know, um, and honestly, I believe that it is due to the fact that a lot of women themselves are full of drama and a lot of women themselves are toxic. And because a lot of us refuse to do the self-work, you know, do the self-reflection, we don't really even know the reason behind why we are going after the guys that are dysfunctional, um, counterproductive, uh, he doesn't have any ambition in life or any goals, you know? Like, we don't know why we are going after those guys. And lo and behold, it's because you, my friend, okay, sis, you are not where you need to be mentally, emotionally, energetically. And so you are repelling everything good away from you because you're not a good woman. And I hate to even be that brutally honest, but that is the truth of the matter. And until we start to do that self-work, we'll continue to attract to us things that are destructive men included. But I want to get into this video here and shout out to my good sis, Bella Rings. Y'all feel free to check out her channel. I will go ahead and let you all see what her channel is uh, on the screen right now. So feel free to check her out. But when I came across this video that she put together, I said, wow, there is so much to break down and explore in this small clip alone. You know, it really does expose a lot of women not really wanting good men. And the irony to it is we are the same women that swear up and down that we need men that provide. We need men that, that protect, that love us, that respect us, that look out for us. Well, <laughs> How do you think you're going to get that type of treatment if you're not even entertaining the guys that would give you such treatment? I mean, for crying out loud, the guys that y'all go after, he doesn't have a providing, protecting, leading, teaching, loving bone in his body. But you feel like, oh, he's going to be Prince Charming for me. He's going to be the ideal lover boy for me. 
No, he's not. If he's trash now, he's more than likely going to be trash later. But let's not jump the gun. Let's just go ahead and get into this, you all. And y'all like the video, share the video, and subscribe, okay? But let's go ahead and just play this so we can break it down. Lucky that I have a good husband. I have a good husband because I married a good man. She says, I'm not lucky because I have a good husband. All right. And that is something that a lot of these chicks out here will use against the women, the wives more specifically, that have good quality husbands. They'll say, oh, well, you know, you're just one of the lucky ones. Are we sis or are we just choosing the proper men? But let's take it back and I'm gonna let her finish. And y'all get the likes up. Lucky that I have a good husband. I have a good husband because I married a good man. Luck didn't have anything to do with it. I mean, he was a good man when we were dating. So I married him. Good men turn into good husbands. Ladies, stop overlooking the good man who you come across for the bad boy. Because the bad boy is going to do you wrong. The bad boy is bad for you. Stop overlooking the good man who you come across because he's, quote, boring. There is, quote, unquote, boredom instability. But I promise you, it is an actual boredom. That's why you ladies have to work on getting to know the man, getting to know his future plans, how you fit in it, and building a friendship, having fun together, making sure that you enjoy being around this person. But you're too busy, stuck on the materialistic things, and you're not focused on the man's character, the depth of his character, who he is to the core. You're too focused on the D. You're too focused on the aesthetic, the muscles, what he can do for you, again, materialistically, rather than what he can give your spirit, your soul, your mind. You're in mindless relationships. This is why, ladies, it is important for you when you're on the dating market to ask the appropriate questions. What kind of wife does he want to have? Is he looking for a wife? You're not even asking the right questions to see if this man wants to settle down. And then you're mad that he doesn't want to settle down. Whoopsie. Now, Bella, you did not have to eat the girls up like that. You know, because like I said, it is so much truth to unpack in this small little clip. And Bella, I feel you, sis. My face is just like yours. Like, really? But let's break it down, you all. And again, like the video. The woman that Bella played at the beginning said something along the lines of, look, I'm not lucky, quote unquote, because I have a good husband. Not, nothing had anything to do with luck. It had everything to do with me analyzing the quality of the man that I was dating, the quality of the character of the man that I was seeing, interacting with, and then saying to myself, you know what? I think that he would make a great life partner. I think that he would make a great father to my children. I think that he would make a great husband. See, before you even enter into the marriage, the man has to already be the type of man that you could see yourself marrying. But see, Bella, unfortunately, a lot of these chicks, they want to change the bad boy into the good husband, into the good man. See, Bella, you're doing things the logical way, the mature way, right? And this is Bella. She's a young married woman. Bella is not even in her 30s yet, okay? And she gets it. And Bella gives me hope. All right. Bella keeps me going. It is women like her that keep me going and, and, and keep me speaking the truths of power because Bella gives me the example of, hey, these other women out here, they may be a lost cause. These older women out here, they may be a lost cause. But, you know, the younger women, maybe they do have a chance. And so shout out to the Bellas of the world. But Bella, even as a young woman, she is being logical about this whole dating and marrying situation. She's like, look, pay attention to what that man 
is actively displaying to you, showing to you. Is he somebody that even wants to be settled down? Is he somebody that even wants a relationship, wants marriage, wants a family? And the truth of the matter is this, Bella. No, he's not. Bella said, y'all are not asking the right questions. Well, the reason why they're not asking the quote unquote right questions, Bella, is because they are forcing the answers onto that man. On top of that, Bella, a lot of these chicks already know the answer to the questions. As far as, is he somebody that, you know, wants to settle down? Is he somebody that would make a good father to my children? Is he somebody that would make a good life partner? They already know it's a no. Let's be completely transparent, Bella. Sh shall we? Oh, yes, we shall. A lot of these guys, Bella, actually tell these women up front what it is. We're just kicking it. No, I'm not ready for all of that. I'm just trying to have a good time. So they already know, Bella. You know? See, me, me and you, Bella, we're confused. This is why we look like this. But these quote unquote real women out here, they don't know the half of what makes a quality relationship be a quality relationship. Instead, they try to force something to be what they already know it's not. It's not a real relationship. It's a situationship, you know? So yeah, Bella, they already know that these men are not looking for what they are trying to make him be, you know? He's not looking to be a husband. He's not looking to make you a wife. He's not looking for love. So they already know. So all of this confusion is self-inflicted, you know, and that is what really grinds my gears. And what, like I said earlier, it makes me even more upset is that they can have good quality men already in their presence and they'll still swear up and down that no good men exist. No, you didn't want the good quality guy. Like Bella said, he was boring to you. He was lame. You know, he was too predictable and all this. It's like, no, 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 no. You're just dysfunctional. And so you find your excitement in dysfunction. You find love in chaos. That's you. That's a you problem, though. But it, there are plenty of good quality men out here. Y'all overlook them. Y'all don't want them. You find every fault and flaw in the good men. And then you find every good trait in the bad men. Oh, but he has potential. But when it comes to the guy who was already what you need him to be, it's like, oh, uh, yeah, but. You'll find something. Y'all nitpick with the good quality men. So it personally just pisses me off that so many women act this way but let's take it back because i want to break down what bella said bit by bit and again y'all like the video share the video and subscribe turn into good husbands ladies stop overlooking the good men who you come across for the bad boy because the bad boy is going to do you wrong the bad boy is bad for you Stop overlooking the good man who you come across because he's, quote, boring. There is, quote, unquote, boredom instability. But I promise you, it is an actual boredom. That's why you ladies have to work on getting to know the man, getting to know his future plans, how you fit in it, and building a friendship, having fun together, making sure that you enjoy being around this person. But you're too busy, stuck on the materialistic things, and you're not focused on the man's character. The Bingo. The depth his character bingo see a lot of these women out here just being honest they are very superficial they're very surface level and they don't go into the nitties and the gritties of what that man is what he's about and who he is 
It's all about, oh, you know, how, how much does he live on the edge and how toxic is he so that I can tame the beast? See, Bella, a lot of these chicks, they want to get some kind of satisfaction, some kind of fulfillment out of taming the beast. That's the challenge. See, the good guy, he's already the finished product. But a bad boy, see, he's my nice little project that I'll get to polish up and patch up for myself and then ultimately have an ego boost by being able to say, look what I did. Bella, that right there is the elephant in the room. No pun intended. But the elephant in the room is the fact that a lot of these women purposefully pass up the good quality men that are stable, healthy, quality, because they don't get to have some kind of ego stroke and ego boost out of saying, I changed him. It was because of me that you see, you know, what he is today. I made him be this great man. But the bad boy, oh yes, I get to have bragging rights in that. I know y'all feeling me. I know y'all following me. Put a two in the chat if you feeling me and you follow me so far. A lot of these chicks, you all, they want the ego stroke and the ego boost and being able to brag and say that it was because of my good peach, right? My good love, my good looks, my good everything that made this man want to blossom, that made this man become the great man that you see before you today. It was me. Nobody else could do it. No other woman could do it. Why? Because they weren't as bad as me. That's really what it is. That's a big piece of what it is. Now, the other piece, again, goes back to a lot of these women just being toxic and needing to do the self-work, you know? And y'all really need to do that, ladies, because what also gets on my nerves is you are complaining Y'all complain about the very men that you choose, the very men that you create, the very men that you enable, the very men that you swear up and down are not men at all. Y'all get on my nerves with that. And then the ultimate slap in the face by proclaiming that there's no good men out there when y'all intentionally move around them is just really ludicrous to me. But y'all really need to get in the mode of maturing, evolving, growing, doing the internal work so that you can choose better, so that you can see better. But like Bella just said, y'all are too fixated on the surface. Oh, well, how does he look? Oh, but what can he give to me? Well, it's surely not respect. It's surely not commitment. It's surely not love. But like Bella said, I guess if he gives you good D and, you know, a, a few dollars, maybe, you know, that's all that you need. Let's continue. Who he is to the core. You're too focused on the D. You're too focused on the aesthetic, the muscles, what he can do for you, again, materialistically, rather than what he can give your spirit your soul, your mind. You're in mindless relationships. This is why, ladies, it is important for you when you're on the dating market to ask the appropriate questions. What kind of wife does he want to have? The answer is he does not want one. And a lot of these women understand that. See, the, the, the men that these women are going after they are the guys who are not relationship minded. They don't even want a woman exclusively. Y'all are something to do at best. But again, you want to be able to change that man's mind. And it doesn't work that way. You can't make a man do or be what he does not want to do and be. And y'all keep learning that the hard way. And I don't know what's wrong with y'all, but let me let y'all in on a little bit of a secret. 
um good men good quality responsible men um they have good d2 i don't know if y'all knew that maybe you would if you would have gave them a chance but hey um but yeah he has he has good d2 um and he can spice up your life too he can bring you excitement too see but like i said earlier a lot of y'all are drama based a lot of y'all are toxic and so you can't allow anything good and healthy to be a part of your equation because you have not subtracted that part of yourself from you but let's make this abundantly clear though because i think that's a huge misconception um the good guys the nice guys yeah um they can put it down they can the good guys can give you good d okay okay the the good guys can give you a good life i'm, I'm just saying but hey if y'all want to keep learning the hard way no pun intended on the hard way but i'm just saying if y'all want to keep learning the difficult way then be my guest but i need y'all to know that as well i don't know why so many women are so simple-minded and childish to believe that good quality men cannot give you good loving cannot give you excitement cannot give you thrills like they absolutely can it just does not come along with a bunch of drama and trauma you know what i mean so let, let's let's start there and let bella continue and again y'all like the video share the video and subscribe is he looking for a wife? You're not even asking the right questions to see if this man wants to settle down. And then you're mad that he doesn't want to settle down. Well, like I said, Bella, these chicks already know that he does not want to settle down. So why ask him questions that I already know the answer to? See, Bella, the objective is to make the man be the man that you want him to be instead of getting the man that is already what you need him to be. Because again, there's no ego stroke and ego boost or challenge in a man already being a man, you know? But yeah, long story short, you all, a lot of these chicks, they don't want good guys. They don't want good quality men. Not until their lives are, you know, in shambles and they're getting old and it's too much going on. And so now they rush to get those good men. But by that time, the good men are already checked out and done. Or they're off the market. That's something else a lot of these women need to understand. You women need to also understand that due to the climate being what it is, there are good quality men that are being snatched up <laughs> left and right by the women that understand the assignment by the women that understand that man's value that is something else that's a huge elephant in the room the good quality men they get off the market really fast So there's no waiting around like it used to be. It is a new day and age. They're not just waiting around for you to act right. They're not in friend zones. The friend zone is dead, okay? So wake up. Because a lot of women out there, they are aware of what's going on. And it's like, look, this is a good, this is a good man. Let me go ahead and show him that I'm a good woman and, you know, let's live happily ever after i'll be damned if i'm out here wasting a bunch of time on guys that i know are not trying to progress or i know that are not in the same mode or mind frame that i'm in so if i find a good thing i'm going to hold on to that it's some it's some women out there that understand that again the climate and the times are way different there's no lollygagging if you find a good thing you better hold on tight and that is what's happening also, ladies. 
So you're not going to have the chance to come back around to these good men talking about, hey, big head. No, 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 no. He's married now. He doesn't want you now. He's uninterested now. Just saying. Or, you know, there's a lot of guys out here also, unfortunately, that don't desire relationships altogether. Like, it's just a lost cause. Like, no, you should have picked up my line when I gave you the time. You know, you should have taken me serious when I was trying to take you serious. Now I'm focused on myself. You got that going on, too. But the, the unfortunate reality of it all is the fact that so many women blow it. Y'all blow, y'all blow it, completely blow it. And now your life is blown up in shambles, blown to smithereens. And now you're rushing, trying to find a good man. And it's like, ma'am, your life has so much baggage that no man in his right mind, especially a man that is of quality, We want to touch you. We want to carry such baggage. It's too much to sort through. It's too much to throw away. It's too much to unpack. No, ma'am. Bag lady, stay that way. But I thought I would come on here and let you all know that, no, ladies, choosing and finding a good man has nothing to do with a woman being lucky. Okay? It is a conscious choice. A conscious decision. Is he a good quality man or is he not? Is he the type of man that I'm looking for that is equally yoked to me or is he not? Is he looking for what I'm looking for or not? Are we compatible or not? That is the questions that you need to be asking yourself. Because healthy, balanced relationships and marriages, they don't happen by luck. It's by work. It's by choosing properly. Doing what you need to do. And finding a man that knows what he needs to do as well. And you all coming together and building. Stop trying to change bad boys into good men and good husbands and good fathers. It does not happen that way. Wake up. But anyway, y'all like the video. Share the video and subscribe. Let me know how y'all feel about this. What has been your experience as far as observing the women out here on the market? Have you noticed that a lot of them go after the bad boy and then wants him to change into the good guy? Let me know, all right? And also, you all, feel free to check out my good sis Bella's uh, channel. Um, She has dope content, especially for the women out there. So, ladies, feel free to check her out. I know a lot of women don't like me, but maybe you will like her, okay? But y'all like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I'm going to see you all in the next dope discussion. Much love and peace to my crown heads.